My Apple Podcast, your personal connection to everything Apple. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to My Apple Podcast. You know, I just realized something. I seem to spend a lot of time focusing on iOS, but today I'm going to focus on the Mac. More specifically, a photo editing application for the Mac called Photoscape X. I chose Photoscape X because it's an application that contains, well, a boatload of features. I mean, what you might call an all-in-one desktop photo editor. So let's take a look at Photoscape X. When you first open the ad, you will find a menu of options along the top. Photoscape X, Viewer, Editor, Batch, Collage, Combine, Create, GIF, Print, Tools, and Store. I'm going to do my best to cover them all in a clear and concise manner. Let's head over to Photoscape X. Running your cursor across the corresponding thumbnails along the bottom, you will get a glimpse of the wonderful features that come with this app. Shape, text, collage, combine, sticker and frame, point color, cellophane, film effect, light leak, miniature effect, and illusion and reflection. Let's proceed to the viewer menu. The viewer, simply put, is where you can view all the photos accessible on your Mac. Not only what you see, but how you can view them. For example, you can view them in tile view, list view, and or full screen. When you click on the drop down menu at the bottom right, you can organize files alphabetically by size, date, and so forth. You can also use the slider along the bottom to control the size of your thumbnails. The setting icon provides some additional hidden gems. For example, you can customize your view by filling the thumbnails or showing the file name, number, and frame. You even have the option to tilt images so they appear less uniform. Okay, let's move on to the editor. Under the editor, you have access to your images on the left, and on the right, you have a range of menu options. Edit, adjust, film, effect, frame, insert, and brush. Under edit is where you can make adjustments to the structure of your image, including crop, resize, flip horizontal, flip vertical, rotate clockwise, rotate counterclockwise, and rotate general, and straighten. All these features are pretty straightforward, of course, but let's take a closer look at two of these features, namely crop and resize. When selecting one of the aspect ratios, say 1-1 or, or the square format, the cropping tool will automatically take on the form of a square. The same occurs when you choose 16-9. A unique option includes the ability to add a circular crop, which can then be used to add a color, pattern, or transparent background. The resize tool enables you to increase the pixel dimension of your photo with options to preserve the aspect ratio or to adjust the size manually by 300%. Now let's check out the adjust tool. The adjustment tools in Photoscape X are what you would expect to find. The ability to control brightness, color levels, curves, and color balance, sharpen, blur, and white balance. Color emphasis is how you can control point color. For example, you can select one of the color swatches to decide what color you want to emphasize. The rest of the photo remains neutral. For better control, you can use the eyedrop tool to pull a color directly from the photo. You will also notice throughout the application the option to compare your changes and adjustments to the original photo. Still under the editor menu is the option to add film effects. Here you can select a long list of thumbnails, each one representing a different film overlay. The slider along the bottom allows for further refinements. The menu also includes duotone and light leak. Duotones appear monochromatic at first, but have hints of warm and cool colors reminiscent of different film processes. Light leaks are quite common among photo editors, and here you can apply a range of options using the tools below to flip and or rotate the effects. The effect tab goes beyond film replications. The effects include miniature effect, bloom, vignetting, edge, watercolor pencil, color pencil, cellophane, fisheye, newsprint, jitter, crystallize, illusion, reflection, dilate, and erode. Let's take a look at miniature effect and crystallize. The miniature effect is what is commonly referred to as tilt shift among other applications. By tilting the focus of your images, you can isolate the focus on certain parts of your photos while blurring the rest. As you will find in common applications like Instagram, 
you have a radial and linear option. Crystallize enables you to break up your image into cubist abstractions, ranging from fine and minute rearticulations of the image to larger, more abstract forms. The editor menu also includes the ability to frame your images with a subset of menus that include frame, shape, and border. What I find most impressive is the extensive menu of options and the ability to add colors, patterns, and transparent backgrounds to each menu option. You may recall that I mentioned at the beginning that Photoscape X is an all-in-one photo editor, and now you know why. The editor menu, believe it or not, also includes the ability to insert stickers, images, or logos, text, and various annotation markers. Each additional element that you add to your photo can be removed by clicking the X. I found the brush menu to be surprising and refreshing. For example, when you select painting at the top left, a long list of options appear, which you can brush onto your photo, including the ability to paint at grayscale and sepia tones, brighten, deepen, darken, blur, defocus, clear skin, or apply mosaic effects. You can even correct red eye, remove mole, and or clone sections of your photo. Photoscape X also comes with a batch feature. Essentially, you can import multiple photos and make adjustments to all of them at the same time. Another feature that typically comes in the form of a standalone app is the collage feature. Rather than provide this feature as a simple add-on, Photoscape X built in a full-fledged collage creation tool. As you can see, there are so many templates at your disposal that the options are limitless. Not only do you have 10 menus to choose from, but each collage comes with the ability to customize the size of the collage, control corners and margins, adjust colors, as well as customize backgrounds. You can also add layers in the form of stickers, images, and text. Wow! Combine is another menu option that is a variant on the collage feature. For example, you can import multiple photos and combine them, either in vertical and horizontal displays or in tile view. Furthermore, the combo feature comes with the same adjustment tools as the collage feature, refining the margins, rounding the corners, adding the background color, and changing the canvas size of your final export. And you know, it keeps getting better. With Photoscape X, you can also create GIFs, I kid you not, and the features are quite impressive. Let's take a look. Select a group of images from your library and drag them onto the stage. On the right hand side you will find several ways to customize your GIF. By default, each image will begin to flash at intervals of 0.50 seconds. You can easily change this by selecting Change Time and then Change All Frames. No effect is selected by default, but you can change this by clicking on Change Effect and adding the slide transitions or selecting Fade and or Zoom. Text can also be added to your GIF, including the ability to control the size and position of the text. Print is the next menu option. This seems pretty straightforward at first, but on closer inspection you will notice that even this feature comes with levels of customization that you would not expect from a photo editor. From this menu, you can select the printer, paper size, portrait or landscape, and or print or portrait shot or thumbnails. You can choose paper or image full, and even select the DPI, which ranges from 72 to 1200. Next on the menu bar is Tools. Here you can take screenshots, which you can import into Photoscape X, select a built-in color picker, and rename files in bulk. The latter is something that I really can appreciate. Let's check this out and see how it works. Okay, what I'm going to do here is import a bunch of photos that I have here in this folder. I'm just going to go ahead and do Command All and just drag them in. I have over 100, maybe close to 200 images in this folder. Now when I go to the renaming uh, panel, I can now go ahead and choose different naming options. So I'm going to actually choose Advanced Naming. And you can see here I have chosen Bizarre underscore because these are collages that I made with Bizarre. So I want the name to begin with Bizarre. The original names, of course, are on the left here. They're just a bunch of numbers, and I don't want the numbers to appear in the actual file name. I just wanted to say bizarre and then have 
a number following it. You, of course, have other options as far as dates, dates and times, and so forth. I'm just going to stick with number, then click Convert. And now every file in that folder will now have the same prefix and suffix. Pretty cool. Of course, if you don't want to go with that and you decide to change it, just click Rollback. It will undo everything you did. But this is a pretty nice feature. They have, they have standalone applications just for this feature. And this is just another thing that's added into Photoscape X. And last but not least, the store enables you to upgrade to the Pro version and or buy additional stickers and photo decorations. And that is Photoscape X, the all-in-one photo editor for the Mac. The app is free, which is absolutely crazy, but comes with in-app purchases if you want to upgrade to Pro. And you definitely want to do that because this app is absolutely amazing. This is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of My Apple Podcast. Check me out next time.